Hi folks, it's Mike Murphy. Today's quick tip is an Adobe After Effects CC 2023. And in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to lock and unlock the effect controls panel and why you might want to do so. The slider control layer is selected, so I am seeing the slider controls and the effect controls. Now I want these to remain visible even when I select another layer because I am going to be dragging properties from these layers onto the slider controls. The problem is as soon as I select another layer, so if I select the logo layer, you see the slider controls disappear. If I select the background layer, I can no longer see those slider controls. I am only seeing the effects that are added to the selected layer. If you want the effects for any layer to remain visible, even when you select another layer, the solution is to lock the effect controls for that layer. So I have the slider controls layer selected. I'm gonna go right next to where it says effect controls and just click on the padlock. You see the tooltip says toggle viewer lock. I'll click to lock it. And now if I click on any other layer, the effects for that slider controls remain visible. Now I'll select the background layer. The slider controls are still visible. Cool. I'm gonna twirl it open, twirl open effects, posterize time. I'm gonna press the option key on a Mac. That's alt on Windows. I'm gonna click on the stopwatch for frame rate. Then I'm gonna drag the expression pick whip and I'm just gonna drag it to the posterize time slider. When I let go, you're gonna notice that the animation stops. That's because it set the slider to zero. Now I just need to enter a value. I'm just gonna enter in 12. When I click off, now the animation resumes. Now I'm gonna to go to the logo layer. I'm gonna tap on the letter E two times. So EE -E is gonna show me all expressions. There I have that wiggle expression on the position property. I'm just gonna click into the expression and I'm gonna highlight the first number. That's the frequency number. So with that number selected, I'll drag the expression pick whip again and drag it to the frequency slider control. I'll select the second number or amplitude, expression pick whip, and I'm gonna drag it to the amplitude slider. And they're both set to zero, just like the posterized time was. So I'll click, I'll enter five for the frequency and two for the amplitude. And now I've got the wiggle. And if you have an effect controls locked, but you actually want to see the effects on another layer, but clicking on it does nothing because this layer is locked. Well, you can click on the little link next to the locked layer and select new effect controls viewer. Now you'll see you get the second view and you can select what you want to see. And you can also lock multiple effect controls. So currently this posterized time effect for the background layer, it's unlocked. So if I click on the logo layer, it's going to disappear. But if I lock it by clicking on the padlock, now when I select the logo layer, I am seeing that posterized time effect and I'm also seeing the slider controls because they're both locked. And if I want to unlock the effect controls, just click on the padlock again. And now whenever you select a layer, you're only gonna see the effects for that layer. So whenever you want to add a new effect controls panel, just click on the link and choose new effect controls panel. You also have some other options here such as closing them. And if you want to close a panel at any time, just click on the little hamburger menu and choose close panel. And that is how to lock the effect controls in Adobe After Effects CC 2023. My name is Mike Murphy. Cheers.